As time went on, getting booze from St. Pierre to the U.S. required faster vessels. Schooners were too slow to outrun the Coast Guard. In shipyards across Nova Scotia, better boats were built. They were low in the water and nicknamed the banana boat. And better escape tactics, those came too. They had the, the best equipment, they had the best radios are going. Uh, they had a lot of money backing this, this trade. And uh, they carried a Sparky, a wireless operator, and he would have a code book that was agreed upon with the, the men on shore. And they, anyone intercepting this, well, they weren't aware what these codes were and what the letters stood for. And they were constantly changing these to keep ahead of the authorities. One of the boats that my father was on uh, was the Liberty. It had three Liberty airplane engines in it. It was supposed to be the fastest boat on the East Coast. And it would travel between 30 and 8 and 45 miles per hour. The cutters wouldn't have a chance in catching it because it was too fast. If the Coast Guard got too close to, uh, to them, they also had a smoke screen. They had a red hot pipe going through some of them. They would pour this oil on the red hot pipes, which would create a gigantic uh, black uh, uh, sickening, you'd, you'd smother with it. So they'd turn around and they'd escape because there were no radars. They had all kinds of little tactics that were used. Running under, under darkness though, with no running lights, that was something that the, the men on the rum runners felt was the most dangerous, that you could be in a collision. And uh, it was a terrible thing. 